Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone! Um, thank you for joining us this week on the channel and it's all about are we ready for travelling down to Spain? Hi, I'm Scott and my wife is Di and we are the Bebs Beat. Join us on the road to full-time freedom with Nelly, our American fifth wheel. We're excited to share the ups, downs and everything in between as we embark on this incredible lifestyle. We look forward to new adventures, meeting new people, so please join us on this unforgettable journey with Nelly. Don't miss out, subscribe to our adventure. Yeah, so basically we've got to um, go through all the legal requirements, isn't it? That's um, for travelling. Through France to Spain. Yeah, so there's, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit. Isn't all it? the normal so. ones that you kind of know about, but mm. also we found out a few that we didn't know about, didn't a we? A few surprising ones. Yeah, so stay yeah. tuned and you'll be uh, surprised actually at what we actually found out. And mm. I hope it helps you guys if you come across it yourself. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you got the usual stuff, haven't you? Yeah, the um, UK stickers. UK stickers. So yeah, we've obviously we've got one on the back of the truck. So when we're separated, you know, when we're on a campsite. Yeah. Um, and then we've got one stuck on the back of... We've got one back on, on the Nelly as well. As well. Yeah. yeah. Um, then we've got the Angles Morts. Yeah. Quite simple, really, but for fifth wheelers, if you have a fifth wheel yourself, it's a yeah. little bit confusing out there. We, we took a little bit of um, research took a bit of fathoming in, out. Yeah, it's a bit different. Um, slightly, slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, but we're still not sure. No, we're not positive. Um, no, definitely not by any means. But like lorries, you've got pictures online of, of where exactly to put them. Mm. Buses, mm. exactly where you need to put them. Uh, motorhomes, motor homes, exactly <laughs> where you need to put them. Fifth wheel? We don't, don't know. know. And obviously so, we looked up caravans, but caravans under 3.5 tonnes. Yeah, that's the thing as well, isn't don't it? Don't need them. Yeah, no. But we're over that, so we're we over do. That. Yeah, so trailers over three and a half ton, isn't it? Needs mm. angles morts. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so basically what we've we've figured out, um, found out, is we need one from the back of back Nelly, of Nelly, and then the other two were put in on the truck, on the tow truck. Mm. So just under the, the door mirrors on the doors so we've got we magnetic ones we don't think we need them on the side of Nelly no, do we don't think we're not 100 percent so. sure but we don't think we do so no. we're going to go with that we do have some spares if we do have to we put do. them on luckily. yeah but so, we'll see um so we'll go with that one yeah so that was one of the things so just want to interrupt um quick update so i discovered um did a little bit more digging on the angles morts um and found out that it looks like actually all the angles mort stickers need to be on the trailer trailer so we're going to be putting obviously we put the one on the back and then we'll be putting um on the two side lockers as well so i think that's where they need to go so yeah just a quick update yeah we have the um the red and white um the red and white reflective safety uh, warning, warning safety warning sign isn't it on yeah. the back yeah which is compulsory in Spain and Italy. Spain and it? Italy, yeah. you have to. You have to have one. Yeah. France, Germany, other European countries, it's, it's only. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, it's not mandatory, is it? Not it's mandatory, just, yeah. but. Um, well, it is when you've got an overhang of more than a meter. I think in, right. in places like France and what have you. So if you've got um, bikes. Yeah, so tote, bike rack, bikers. tote, like we've got, yeah, yeah so in like Spain that. and Italy, even just a small thing like, you know, a, a tote which is only, say, that deep, still has to have one. Yeah. yeah you have to have it on the back. Um, and I believe it needs to be made from aluminium, uh, reflective. Mm. Um, Ours is aluminium. I'm yeah, and a certain size, well, I think 50 by 50, isn't I it? I think when you look on the internet, though, yeah. I think they're all the same size, because... 
Yeah. You know. Yeah, you just can't go and paint red and white stripes. <laughs> no. <and> that's not allowed. <laughs> no, it has to be a um, specific one. Yeah. Especially for Italy. I think Italy are more um, yeah, anal, more, if you more, like, more about, about it. it. Yeah. Um, uh, and then we found out only a week or two ago, didn't we, that we have to have the 80 and 90 stickers mm. put on the back of Nelly. Again, because we're over three and a half Yeah, ton. we didn't know about that, yeah. to be honest. Um, so because the, the trail is over three and a half tonne again, we've got to have, like you see, uh, you see a lot. Trucks, um, don't you? Like Lorries. in the UK, trucks, yeah. So trucks that are international going over over to Europe all the time. You see the 80, 90, 100 stickers on the back, don't you? So yeah, we've got to have the 80 and the 90. We do, because um, the 80 is for the single carriageway yeah. and the 90 is for the dual carriageway. Dual or motorway, mm. apparently. So, apparently yeah. so. Yeah. So that was that, so we that was found out, one, wasn't, wasn't it? it? That was interesting. Yeah. Um, um, and then you need um, all your usual suspects, like your reflected jackets, your oh, warning yeah, triangle. Yeah, the usual bump. Um, all your insurances, um, yeah. and apparently you don't now need your the breathalyzers. Breathalyzers. I no. was, a, I thought you did. Yeah, you but used you to, didn't you? you? Used to have to have to have them, but apparently yeah. now you don't. So we're not going to yeah. bother. And we don't really drink anyway. And, so. the, <laughs> and the deflective um, headlights. I don't know if we, we need them, but you need oh, to, to check. Ch yeah, like the old school. Yeah. No, I think most modern cars, you can either adjust them on the actual headlight itself, like mm. a, a screw that you turn, or if it's uh, if you've got the CAN bus, obviously the, the electronics will do it for you, so you can go into your vehicle settings and it'll change the angle. Um, I have no idea. Ours, <laughs> I'm not sure. Ours are a bit of an anomaly because we've got upgraded lights on ours so I need to find that out that. I really yeah. do need to find that out yeah I need to find out um, and you need your V5 obviously and this now brings us on to a very very important find that we discovered didn't we oh yeah yeah <laughs> and, we um, couldn't have been yeah we could have been in a whole heap of trouble we could have been in loads of trouble because <laughs> if you like ourselves have your vehicle registered um as a company, as a registered keeper on the V5. Yeah, this, this all came about because I was looking at Morocco, wasn't I? Yeah, you just going from Spain, just doing some go and have a look in Morocco, do a little bit of travelling. Obviously, you, you know, you've got the import, export side of things with the vehicle. Now, I did watch another video. It was actually the Roman Radfords where they had a bit of bother because I think his vehicle was in one name, Steve, and his name is Stephen, blah, blah. I can't remember the exact specifics about it, but that made, that got me thinking because our truck is registered in our company name. Mm. So the company is the registered keeper of the vehicle. Yeah, so... Um, so obviously if I get to the border at Morocco, um, and they it doesn't match. say, yeah. this is your passport name, this is your V5, who who owns this vehicle? Um, so yeah, we had we apparently, after a little bit of digging, yeah. again. Yeah, we did. And we had to have uh, this letter done. Basically, the company and <clears throat> me as a director has to give Scott permission to drive the vehicle, basically. And, that, and it's all in French. Yeah. So, so we you, as well. you found the template basically, yeah. and we have um, we've done that. So, and attached to the back of that is a copy of our passports. I've done a copy of the um, the company has to prove that I'm a director. Yeah, and, all sorts, you? Yeah, and a yeah. copy of the V5 just to be on the safe side. Yeah. I just, I'm just trying to cover all angles, um, and I will put a copy of the registration, the company house certificate. Oh, um, since as well discovered that although it's not very widely known it's also a requirement to go to Europe so yeah, even just going from the UK to France there's a possibility that if you get pulled up um, and your V5 doesn't match your passport and you don't have this letter of authorization you could be in trouble I'm not yeah. saying you will it all depends on the uh, officer on the day. So mm. 
if he's in a bad mood and has not, not had his donuts or whatever, mm. his frog's legs, um, yeah. you could be in some bother. So I've done another copy for Europe. Might be worth Europe. knowing. Yeah. And, and done the same thing just to cover it. And we will let you know, um, you know, if, if that yeah, we'll ever, you know if it does crop what up happens. or if it doesn't. Um, yeah, I mean, when, I'm going to say when we go to Morocco, You'll yeah, we don't, know where. So we don't know when. We don't know when, but <laughs> when we do go, um, yeah, we will let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know what uh, happens if it's okay. Mm. And but, how we get um, on? Yeah, we'll so see. that was that was the big big issue really because it scared it me. It was a, a scary bit, bit of a yeah, yeah. It was a scary moment. Especially when it's like only a week to go before we <laughs> we actually. Well, go. we thought like, we'd have to get the V five changed, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, uh, we'll we haven't got time names, for that. But we haven't got time because we've got a week just over yeah. before we go mm. um, and there's no way it'd be back in time I doubt no especially so. this close to Christmas as well it would just be yeah. a nightmare so Hoping this luckily we trip. found this yeah. thing with the um, authorization yeah mm. so we're hoping that covers it um, so that's that Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah um, and then we also um, we bothered with the Criter the uh, clean air sticker that France <laughs> that France does um, it's only four pounds and even though oh, yeah. we may not go well we probably will actually once we've yeah. booked from Nelly yeah, if we're on a campsite yeah but for the sake of four pound I think it just gives peace of mind if we do end up unhitching and going into a city that has these yeah, Bordeaux, clean example, air somewhere like that, yeah. clean air a bit like the ULES mm. and stuff yeah isn't it? so but for four four quid which is no got it yeah so uh, that is our um I think we covered everything. We think we're ready. <laughs> and when we said that, we said that probably about a month ago. <laughs> yeah, we did, yeah. And then we discovered a few things this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. yeah so but, um, but I think we're ready now. I think we are. And, I think um, we're covered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so before we go um, mm. on this video, we'd like to say a big, big thank you. A very big thank to you. To Brian and Fiona. Yes. Wasn't it? Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian thank and Fiona. Um, the for buying us bacon butties. Yep. Thank you for our bacon butties on the buy me a coffee link. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. Wonderful. Really appreciated. Yeah, it really is. So everyone, so please do tune in for next week's video. Exciting, because that's Very. when we leave for France. Yeah. Um, onto ferries. Yeah. Across the channel. Yeah. And arriving in France. Yeah. And it has high winds. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. But yeah, please do tune in and subscribe to our channel. Press the notification bell and uh, you can be able to keep up with what we get up to and how we cope with the crossing. <laughs> Doesn't like crossing, especially bumpy ones. At least I can go to sleep because it is an overnight ferry. Hope we got plenty of sick bags. Oh, don't. But yeah, <laughs> um, we'd appreciate it, wouldn't we? If you, yeah. um, you know, would join us on our journey. I'm sure it'll be eventful. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!